chapter pair of straight line we know that every first degree equation in xy first degree equation in xy x and y variable xy represents represents a straight line straight line general equation of a straight line is given by ax plus by plus c equal to 0 where a b c are constants constants and at least one of them at least one of a and b is non zero non zero then this represents a straight line coefficient of x or coefficient of y b at least one of them not equal to zero a b c are constants now consider two linear equations this is linear equation because here power of x is 1 power of y is 1 this so variable power of the variables is 1 so this equation is called linear equation now consider consider two linear equations linear equations uh, this say a one x plus b one y plus c one equal to zero, where a one b one c one are some constants, and at least one of a one and b one non zero, and second linear equation is a 2 x plus b 2 y plus c 2 equal to 0 where a 2 b 2 c 2 are constants and either at least one of the constants a 2 and b 2 is non zero. Now combining multiplying these two equations from these two equations we get a one x plus b one y plus c one into a two x plus b two y plus c two this equal to zero. This equation product of these two linear equations is equal to zero. So call it one equation one. Obviously, uh, this is a second degree equation because here multiply by this a1 x a2 x so uh, a1 into a2 x square b1 y and b2 y so b1 into b2 into y square a1 x b2 y so a1 x a1 b2 x into y so uh, power is uh, most at most power is 2 so this is a second degree equation this is a second degree equation this equation this equation uh, is a is a second degree second degree equation in x and y in x and y and uh, each of the form each of the form a x square plus twice h x y plus b y square plus twice g x plus twice f y plus c equal to 0 call it 2 equation number 2 if you multiply these two factors in the equation 1 and then comparing the coefficients with the equation 2 you get the important results this this a 
equal to x square coefficient of x square so coefficient of x square is equal to here a1 and this a2 so multiply this so a1 into a2 so we get a equal to a1 into a2 b equal to b1 into b2 2a is equal to a1 b2 plus a2 b1 and 2g equal to a1 c2 plus a2 c1 and this twice f equal to b1 c2 plus b2 c1 and last c equal to c1 into c2 so if you multiply these two factors these two factors and the coefficient of ax square y square and xy and so on constant terms you get and uh, the important results this uh, comparing these coefficients and you get the important results call it 3 and since equation 1 it represents a pair of straight lines pair of straight lines because here here the two straight lines first is one first is one and this is second straight line so first straight line and the second straight line Combining these two straight lines, we get a combined equation, this equation 1, these two factors. Separating this, this equal to 0 and this factor equal to 0. So, we get two straight lines from these, we get two straight lines. So, this equation 1 represents, that is equation 2, equation 2 represents a pair of, a pair of straight lines. represents pair of straight lines is the pair of straight lines pair of straight lines equation one or two and this pair of straight lines one of this pair is this a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and other straight line is uh, a2x plus b2y and c2 plus c2 is equal to 0 consider the general second degree homogeneous equation from this homogeneous means all term is uh, homogeneous type this the second degree second term second order term second degree term second degree term so if you um, collect this term ax square plus twice hxy plus by square and uh, uh, set these are all zeros so you get the homogeneous second degree term this is the this equation is the uh, general um, second degree term the first the second degree term and then the first degree term 2gx twice fy first degree term this is the first degree term and this is the first degree term this is the constant term and this is the these are the second degree term so only we collect this second degree terms so the is called the only homogeneous second degree equation uh, this is the, called this the homogeneous second degree equation is this a homogeneous general equation general second degree homogeneous equation general second degree homogeneous equation homogeneous equation so general second degree homogeneous equation the equation is the form this a x square plus twice h x y plus b y square equal to 0. This is the homogeneous, homogeneous, homogeneous term, all are of second degree, general homogeneous second degree equation, and this is equal to 0. So this is called is say 1, equation 1. And assume that this constant A not equal to 0. First, uh, our assumption is this assume this result then this from this equation uh, we get the value of x uh, from this equation 1 uh, this is the cos x square x and uh, without x so this is a uh, you can consider this equation 
uh, as a quadratic equation in x, x square, x, and without it, less x, constant, without less x, without x. So, applying Schrodinger's Schroeder, formula, we get x is equal to minus b, here minus b is 2hy. So, this is equal to minus 2hy plus minus root over b square, b square, ax square plus y, ax square plus bx plus c. So, b is this. So, minus uh, uh, 2hy whole square minus 4ab, 4 into a into b. Here, b, b means this, by square. So, this is equal to by square. So, minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac divided by 2a, 2a. So, value, you get the value of x. Uh, suppose, uh, this is a quadratic equation in x. So, you get, applying the changes formula, you get minus b plus minus 2b square, uh, minus b root over b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. We get the two values of x in terms of y. So, um, this equal to, this equal to cancelling uh, from numerator and new, new denominator uh, term 2 from numerator and numerator we get minus hy plus minus root over of h square uh, minus ab into y divided by a. Here we assume uh, this uh, h square minus ab into y so uh, from uh, remove this y and uh, out uh, this square so this is y square and this you get uh, remove this term so you get y y is this into y so this from this you get this root over of h square minus a b into y. Now we assume here h square minus a b either greater than equal to 0. Here we assume this for real values of x to get real values of x assume here h square minus a b is greater than equal to 0. Assume this. Assume this. Then from this we get uh, multiplying by a into x so from this we get a into x or a into x uh, this minus h y so this is the plus plus h y h y minus root over of h square minus a b into y so take common y from this term so this y and remove this term from this this is h h into y into next factor is this ax plus h plus root over of root over of h square minus a b into y this equal to 0. So, we get the two factors. So, we get this, this result holds from this equation 1. So, ax square plus twice h square plus by square equal to 0 from this homogeneous second degree equation, we get this equation. And from this equation, this ax something constant into y, ax minus ax plus this and ax plus this. So, this is x, y is a linear linear equation, linear expression. x, ax some plus something into y, ax plus something into y equal to 0. So, this equation shows that and repent this equation. So, we get these two equations. Separating this, we get ax plus h minus root over of h square minus ab into y this equal to 0 
and ax plus h plus root over of h square minus ab into y equal to 0. And these two pair of state lines passing through origin. So, from uh, a homogeneous second degree equation, equation 1, from this homogeneous second degree equation 1, you will you get two state lines. These state lines, two, 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 pair, of, two pair, pair of state lines, get a pair of state lines, these and these, and passing through origin because there is no, uh, here, no, no constant terms. Here, a, a something into x plus something into y is equal to 0. And this is represents a uh, line, uh, state line passing through, passing through origin, both of them passing through origin. So, a pair of state line passing through origin and represent by this. So, uh, if there is, conversely, if uh, two state lines give, are given, the two state lines passing through origin, then from this, combining these two state lines, we get a homogeneous equation second degree, we get this from this. And the condition is this, h square minus ab, obviously, uh, greater than equal to 0, condition is this, under this condition, h square minus ab, greater than equal to 0. Now, next article, the angle uh, between the pair of state lines when this is equal to this. Angle between between the pair of state lines pair of state lines a x square plus twice h x y plus b y square equal to 0 when h square minus a b greater than 0. This is the article. Now we want to find the angle between the pair of state lines this and this. So now we already uh, uh, seen that in the previous article, this homogeneous equation in second degree uh, represents a pair of state line passing through origin. So this x axis, this y axis, so this is the origin. So suppose and uh, this is a state line passing through origin, first line, we call it this one. And suppose this is a second line, this is the second line passing through origin, call it two. So we get uh, two state lines, one and two passing through origin by this uh, homogeneous equation of second degree when the condition is satisfied h square minus a b greater than 0. Now, if m1 and m2 are the slopes of these two state lines passing 1 and 2, and two state lines, now let ax square plus twice hxy plus by square identically equal to b into y minus m1x into y minus m2x, where m1 and m2, this m1 into the slope of the two state lines. m1 is the slope of the first state line and m2 is the slope of the second state line. So, if we assume b naught is equal to 0 and then this expression can be written as b into something into y minus m1 x and y minus m2 x. And this first equation is represented by y minus m1 x equal to 0 and second state line y minus m2 x equal to 0, second state line. So, from this result, we compare this. So, from this side, b into this into this, y into into y square and this uh, minus 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 plus, so plus m1 into m2 into x square plus plus y into this, this y into this. So, plus this into this minus m1 plus m2 into x into y. This. 
so y into m1 m2 minus this minus x into y so from this side this so comparing this we get b into y square so this equal to b into m1 into m2 into x square and this minus b into m1 plus m2 into xy plus plus b into y square so comparing from left hand side and right hand side so a equal to we get this result so we get uh, comparing these two terms so get we get a is equal to comparing this a equal to comparing the coefficient of x square we get a is equal to b into m1 into m2 and comparing the coefficients of xy we get uh, from the right and uh, left hand side twice h and from the right hand side get minus b into m1 plus m2 m2 and this b equal to b so nothing to compare this b equal to b so this so uh, from this uh, last second equation m1 plus m2 equal to minus twice h by b and m1 into m2 equal to equal to a by b a by b in the important results m1 into m2 is equal to minus twice h by b and m1 into m2 is equal to a by b when you express the when a second degree equation in this form in this form in this form then uh, we get the result m1 plus m2 is equal to minus twice h by b and m1 m2 is equal to a by b now when h square minus a b is greater than zero the expression uh, equation a x square plus twice h x y plus b y square equal to zero represents represents two intersecting state line two intersecting state lines whose slopes which slopes m1 m2 satisfying the relation above relation satisfying satisfy the above relation above relation above relations if theta uh, be the angle be the angle between between the straight lines straight lines a x square plus twice h x y plus b y square equal to zero then then tan square theta equal to m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 into m2 a whole square because uh, this is the angle theta is the angle between the two straight lines this is the between first straight line and second straight line suppose uh, suppose this is the angle theta first angle is first straight line second straight line and this is the angle is theta so the first slope of the first straight line is m1 and slope of the second straight line is m2 so if the angle between the two straight lines is m1 uh, theta then uh, from tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to this tan theta is equal to m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 whole square and this equal to m1 plus m2 whole square minus 4 m1 m2 divided by 1 plus m1 into m2 whole square now uh, put the values of m1 plus m2 this equal to uh, this equal to m1 plus m2 is equal to from this result m1 plus m2 is equal to minus 2 h by b and m1 m2 is equal to a by b remember these results so m1 plus m2 minus twice h by b put this put here 
m1 plus m2 is equal to this and get and we get after simplification we get 4 h square minus a b divided by a plus b whole square so tan theta equal to tan theta equal to plus minus 2 root over of h square minus a b divided by a plus b so tan theta is equal to this very important result in this chapter is equal to this tan theta is equal to this and uh, we take positive sign or negative sign according as theta is positive sign when theta is theta is acute angle acute angle and negative sign negative sign or theta is obtuse angle theta is obtuse angle if note that in the above equation when if b is equal to 0 in the given expression becomes then then ax square plus twice hxy plus by square becomes becomes a x square plus twice hxy equal to 0 and this implies x common a x plus twice h y equal to 0 and this represents two two straight lines x equal to 0 from the first factor and the second straight line a x plus 2 h y equal to 0 so if b equal to 0 you get two straight lines this x equal to 0 means the y axis and this two straight lines this now important theorem in this chapter the general equation of second degree the general equation of second degree second degree a x square plus twice h x y plus b y square plus twice g x plus twice f y plus c equal to 0 represent represents a pair of state lines state lines if and only if if and only if if delta identical equal to h square minus a b is greater than equal to 0 and and capital D this is the article equal to this is the determinant A A G H B F G F C this determinant sorry this determinant This determinant and this equal to and the value of this determinant is uh, abc abc plus twice abgh minus af square minus bg square minus ch square this equal to zero this equal to zero and this is the uh, condition 
So this general equation, second degree, represents a pair of straight lines. By this general equation of second degree, you can get hyperbola, parabola, ellipse, and so many uh, conics. But this represents a pair of straight lines when h square minus a b greater than or equal to 0 and determinant d equal to 0. Determinant d, this means a g h b f g f c equal to 0. a g h b f b f g f c g f c equal to 0. If and only, this means if and only, if and only means uh, if the h square minus a b greater than or equal to 0 and d equal to 0, then, then, then from this general equation of second degree, you get the pair of straight lines. Pair of straight lines means two straight lines combining form in combining form. Now, using this condition, uh, you consider the problem example 1 so that so that the equation equation 2x square plus 3xy plus y square equal to 0 represents represents a pair of straight lines pair of straight lines find the angle angle between them between them obviously uh, this equation is a homogeneous second degree equation obviously so we get a pair of straight line passing through origin so uh, first uh, whether the straight line is a pair of straight lines so by this theorem comparing this with this comparing this a x square plus twice h x y plus b y square plus twice g x plus twice f y plus c equal to 0 comparing the given equation with this equation we get a equal to 2 h equal to uh, 3 by 2 and b equal to 1 and g equal to f equal to c equal to 0. So, so capital delta equal to h square minus a b. So, capital delta equal to h square minus a b equal to 3 by 2 whole square minus a into b 2 into 1. So, this is equal to 3 3 9 by 4 minus 2. So, 9 minus 8 by 4. So, this is equal to 1 by 4, obviously positive quantity. So, first h square minus a b greater than equal to 0 and say dissatisfied. Next, we find the value of d. d means a a g h b f g f c. Put the value of a g h b f g f c this equal to expanding this a b c plus twice f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square. So, here c equal to 0, g is equal to 0, f equal to 0, g is equal to 0, c is equal to 0. So, all these terms, so combining this, this term obviously 0. So, uh, by this theorem, uh, this h square minus a b greater than equal to 0 and d is equal to 0 satisfied. So, uh, this equation uh, 
uh, forms uh, forms this equation represents a pair of straight lines hence uh, the given equation uh, represents a pair of straight lines hence hence the given equation equation uh, represents represents okay yes ha bolo ja khushi je kono boye ti kono boye d use korchi kono boye delta use korchi kono oshubidha nei kono oshubidha nei tar jonno kono jay asna tumi je kono notation use korte paro kono kono boye etake delta bolechi ami d bolechi or eta tomar byapar tumi kon take bolbe kon take na bolbe given equation represents a pair of straight lines given represents a pair of straight lines next second part of this question the angle between this angle between this so by the formula uh, tan theta is equal to by the formula tan theta is equal to plus minus 2 into root over of h square minus ab um, by a plus b this is the formula so put this plus minus 2 h square here h square equal to 3 by 2 So root over of root over of three by two whole square minus ab so two into one and divided by a plus b two plus one so this equal to tan inverse sorry uh, this equal to plus minus this equal to plus minus Plus minus, uh, plus minus one by three. Plus minus one by three. Simplification after simplification, you get this. So, uh, from this, theta equal to theta equal to uh, tan inverse plus minus plus minus one by three. And if theta is acute angle, if theta be an acute angle. Acute angle, then uh, we get the positive value. So theta equal to theta equal to tan inverse one by three. This is the answer. This is the answer. Next problem. Example two. Next example two. Prove that. Prove that. the equation equation 4x square plus 12xy plus 9y square plus 8x plus 12y equal to 0 represents represents A pair of parallel straight lines. A pair of parallel straight lines. Straight lines, and find and find the distance distance between them between them. Now, the given equation can be written as the given equation can be written as two x plus three y, a whole square, plus four into two x plus three y. And this result, after simplification, you uh, can get the uh, this result from this result. So, taking common two x plus three y, so get two x plus three y. You get the result two x plus three y plus four is equal to zero. 
so given equation uh, is the two combined is a is a factor multiplication of two factors linear factors this and this and separating this equating zero each factor we get hence the given equation given equation represents represents a pair of straight line a pair of straight lines pair of straight lines and and these lines are and these lines are 2x plus 3y equal to 0 from the first factor and from the second factor 2x plus 3y plus 4 equal to 0 call it 1 and call it 2 so we get two linear equations since since the slope of the straight lines straight lines 1 and 2 1 and 2 are each equal to equal to minus 2 by 3 because from the first line y is equal to mx plus c right this straight line first this so y from these lines so y equal to minus 2x by 3 so uh, minus 2 by 3 is the slope and from the second line you get uh, y equal to minus 2x minus 4 divided by 3 and so minus 2 by 3 y is equal to mx plus c so minus 2 by 3 is the slope and so 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 slope slope of these two lines same so these two lines are parallel so uh, so the lines so the lines 1 and 2 1 and 2 are parallel parallel now we want to get the distance between the two parallel straight lines so the required required distance distance between between the parallel lines parallel lines 1 and 2 1 and 2 is given by is given by distance modulus of modulus of formula distance distance of origin that is 0 0 from 1 from equation 1 minus minus distance of 0 0 distance of the origin of origin from the equation 2 equation 2 and the, this is the modulus of the whole this so so this is equal to distance uh, from of origin distance of origin of the origin from 1 from equation 1 here equation 1 is this line this line obviously this line 2x plus 3y equal to 0 obviously this line passing through origin since the constant term is absent so this line is passing through origin so distance of origin uh, from 1 obviously 0 because this straight line 1 passing through origin so first this distance of origin uh, of the origin from 1 obviously 0 so modulus of 0 minus and distance of the origin from line 2 so from line 2 put uh, 0 0 in place of x and y and get the result and by this standard form in this form so this equal to uh, equation is this 2 into 0 plus 3 into 0 sorry 2 into 0 plus 3 into 0 plus 4 divided by root over of 2 square plus 3 square this is the formula distance of this 
so simplification this 4 by 4 3 3 9 9 4 and 13 so this is modulus value so this is equal to 4 by root over 13 units is the answer answer between the distance between the two straight lines and this completes today's lecture okay